Hello everyone and welcome back to Godly Motivation. Have you ever felt a sense of restlessness, a sense of unhappiness? You feel dissatisfaction and you wonder what is it that you are missing? You may wonder to yourself, what is throwing off my day? Why am I feeling this way? I believe we have all experienced this at some point or the other and we don't know what we are missing. So what do we do? We get up and we start to search for it. We may think it's from our lack of fulfillment at work. Sometimes we may have trouble in our marriage. We never know what is happening and sometimes we don't even have enough money. But unfortunately this is not the case. Many times we look in all the wrong places for something to fill our inner need for contentment. Some people look to food while others look to alcohol or drugs. Often we look to others in our career or something to make us feel good. But the only source that can fill that empty space is Jesus living inside you. The Lord will make a way whenever you don't see a way out. He will be there for you in your day of trouble. Many people on the outside can give you words of comfort. They can listen to your problems or they can listen to you whine about something that you cannot even explain. But the Bible says to be anxious for nothing, regardless of how you feel. Use prayer and supplication and make your requests known to God and He will be there for you. Sometimes you turn to someone and you confide in them. You trust them enough to open up to them and they do you wrong. There are people who you think who even care about you and they really don't. But this does not mean you should get bitter as well. Luke 6 verses 27 to 30 says, But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, and pray for those who spitefully use you. To him who strikes you on the one cheek, offer the other cheek as well. And from him who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your tunic either. Give to everyone who asks of you. And from him who takes away your goods, do not ask them back. And just as you want men to do to you, you also do to them likewise. My friends, the Lord is saying, do not repay evil for evil. Do whatever you want people to do to you. Many times when we come to a day of trouble, whatever feelings we feel are the feelings we want to reciprocate, but that is not what the Lord wants for you. You have to remember that you are not like them, so do not stoop to the level that they are stooping to just because they are not being used by the Lord. One of the most powerful Psalms in the Bible, Psalms 27 says that the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and my foes, they all stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion in the secret place of his tabernacle he shall hide me he shall set me high upon a rock and now my head shall be lifted up above all my enemies all around me therefore i will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle i will sing yes i will sing praises to the lord hear o lord when i cry with my voice have mercy also upon me and answer me. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me nor forsake me, O God of my salvation. 
Some of us have family members who have turned their back against us even when we needed them the most. This scripture is also for you. Verse 10 says, When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. Verse 11 says to teach me your way, O God, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. Do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me. Many people will tell lies on you as you go through this life. Remember, do not repay evil for evil. The Bible in verse 13 says, I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of God in the land of the living. So the Lord is promising you that he will not wait until your life has ended before he grants you good fortune. If you put your trust fully in him, you can be rest assured that he will deliver you on the day of trouble. The last verse of Psalms 27 says, Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart wait i say on the lord whenever you're feeling anxious and discontent i encourage you to meditate on these words the bible says i have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation whether well-fed or hungry whether living in plenty or want Philippians 4 verse 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Paul learned the profound secret that contentment in his relationship with Christ is a powerful state of mind. You can do this too. You can learn this too. You can learn that whatever comes to you in the day, even if it's from a loved one, you can overcome it knowing that you can be content in the Lord and he will give you strength. Contentment is defined as a state of peaceful happiness. It is an attitude that has nothing to do with where you are and what you have. Proverbs 15 verse 15 says, For the happy heart, life is a continual feast. So I am encouraging you today to feast on the fact that Christ Jesus lives within you. He is helping you through whatever you're going through and he will also help you in the day of trouble. Let us pray. Father, I thank you that the power of your declared blessings and favor over my life override every negative declaration that others have made about me. Your promises override every negative thing that I think sometimes when I wake up in the morning. Your words override every negative thing that I may go through even as I go through this day. I thank you that I can receive your favor, your freedom and your victory to overcome every challenge that is set upon me whether today, tomorrow or even next year. I believe that you are setting me on the best path for my life. And I trust that you will be there for me today, tomorrow, and in the day of trouble. Just like how the word says, you are the same God yesterday, today, and forever. I place my life in your hands. I place my issues in your hands. I place my doubts in your hands. And I believe, Father God, that you will stand on your word. And your word says, I can do all things, not some things, all things through you who gives me strength. I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice will receive your blessings and favor today. They will receive the promises that you have for them and strength to push through all challenges that they may face. Some people may be in the hospital today and they are not able to walk, go to work, go to school, or even see their loved ones. We pray for them and we ask you to be there for them and deliver them in your own way. We pray for the people who are going to work and have situations and people at work who are negatively affecting their lives. I pray that you give them blessing today, give them peace, grant them favor in a way that they've never experienced before. Some of us, Father God, are having financial challenges. We have bills to pay and we have expenses that we don't know how to meet 
but the deadlines are coming. I thank you, Father God, that your word says you will be there for us in the day of trouble. So we ask you to provide these financial resources for us to cover our bills and get through each month as we push through to new blessings that you have for us. We thank you for people, Father God, who are trusting you, who have taken the time out to listen to a quick prayer this morning. We ask you to bless them in their own way. Bless their families. Bless their health. Bless their home. Bless the ground that they walk upon and the clothes that they put on their backs. Bless the food that they eat and the people that they meet on a daily basis. Lord, we ask you to have your own way today. Grant us favor in everything we do. And as we put you first, help us to see you manifested in our situations and the things that we are praying about. As we go about our business today and for the rest of this week, we ask that you cover us under your blood as we go out and as we come in. Bless the vehicles that we travel in. Bless the roads that we walk on. Bless the people that we interact with and bless the things that we put our hands to. Bless the people that we come in contact with and everything that we go through as we go through this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you've made it this far in this video and in this prayer, I simply ask that you click that like button and leave a positive comment below so someone else can get a future word from you. Thanks again for tuning in to Godly Motivation. We truly appreciate each one of you who takes the time out to listen to these prayers and we ask that you have yourself a blessed, magnificent and faith-filled rest of your day.